What is good, everybody? And welcome back to another video, man. <sighs> Hope everyone is doing well and healthy. Today's video, I got something, I have something special. Um, it's a little different. It's gonna be on my SI. So what I have is clutch master cylinder kit for my ninth gen. So I'm gonna be installing this. I've seen one other video that got posted, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and go through it very detailed for you guys so that if you're doing this yourself and you don't really have the confidence, I could go ahead, you can watch this video and you can go ahead and do a step-by-step -by, -step by yourself. This is my my name, Jen. Uh, name is Miley. It, um, it's bone stock. It's literally bone stock. I've been trying to look for the, like the old owner so I could find out what this car has been through. But um, so we're gonna start with removing the airbox and then finding the clutch line of removing. There should be like two tens, one here and then another one over there. But I'll get to it when I get to when I get this airbox off. All right. So as you can see, I already got through. Um, the most that I've done on this car was just a cutie shifter bushings to try to help out with, um, the shifting part of the car. Cause that was the only thing that was wrong with it. But, um, I mean, it helped out for a while, but then I adjusted the clutch back cylinder and I just feel like it's on its way out. So I went ahead and I bought the whole set just to make sure that it doesn't fuck up. But when you take everything out, you're gonna see there's gonna be one 10 right there. Then another 10 over there. And then you're gonna to wanna to let those go. And then there should, on top of the slave cylinder, there's two 12s that you wanna take off. But before I go ahead and do all this in the engine bay, which is pretty much the easy part, you wanna go inside the car. So now we're inside the car. And, um, this is the hard part. This is probably where you're gonna spend most of your time cursing. <laughs> so, there's one 12 there and another 12 on the other side. Um, and then you're gonna wanna disconnect. Let's see if I can get it. There's gonna be like a little C-clip right there but on the other side and yeah so what you see that grease that's white lithium grease i sprayed it in there so i could get that squeak that was coming out of it okay so i got the the pin and the, the little cotter pin out too got the two 12s out so i'm pretty much done with this with the inside now i'm about to roll the car inside the garage and do everything in the engine bay okay Next part, gotta take off the wipers. I think it's the 17. And then we go under the hood and then we pull off the cowl. So if you guys ever get confused, if you guys ever get confused about which wiper goes where, the longer one always goes on the driver's side. That's the best way. Don't need to over complicate yourself, you know? And next we gotta pull the cowl off. And unfortunately for me, I only have two, but it is what it is. I have one clip here and like that could come off. Then I have a bolt here <laughs> that comes off. And then there's none on this side. Once you get this top layer off, right? You could go ahead and just leave it to the side, leave everything connected. And then you're gonna see these three bolts and then those three that hold this piece on. This should, there's one right there and one right there. And then that piece comes off. Then you got your engine bay looking like this. At this point, you should be able to grab the clutch line 
and everything should be should be moving freely except for your slim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fish this out. I'm gonna pull the tent off the clutch reservoir. And actually I'm gonna drain it and then um I'm gonna pull it off. Alright, so I went ahead and I drained it. Um now I'm gonna try to pull it off through here, but I'm gonna disconnect the line from the reservoir. Uh, you can put a bolt at the end of this and it's not leaking fluid. So go ahead and try that out if you guys want. Thought I'd help you guys out a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to snake this all, all out at one shot. All right, boys, so found my problem toast <laughs> that shit is done <laughs> um whatever well at least i'm doing the job complete one time man i'm not even just i'm not gonna stop here i'm just gonna keep going Uh, I'm gonna disconnect the, the line from here, take that off, and then everything else should like fall through. All right, so everything is out. What I ended up doing was getting the master cylinder about right here, and then I just broke the, the clutch line loose off of the master cylinder. And my slave so that they came on pieces. I wanted to fish everything out in one shot, but honestly, it wasn't looking too promising to do that. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna keep this stuff as like uh, memories. I'm pretty sure my master cylinder is still good. It was just my slave due to its condition. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep everything that I took off this car. So now, it's the easy part, trying to resemble everything. So as you guys know, this is the K-tuned clutch master cylinder. And um, pretty much you can't use their clevis. When they, when, they, when they say in the description, 12 to 15, you can't use the clevis, is this. You have to use the stock one that comes with it because it's a, it's a different diameter. So I don't mind, that's, that's cool with me. But in comparison, you don't have the delay valve. And so it's just pushing fluid through the clutch line. So that's that's pretty much straightforward. Um, honestly, I think they're already. One, two, three. Now I gotta put that up a little bit more. But let me take this off and the clevis and go about my swapping everything over. I got to put the clutch line too while I'm at it. All right. So I went ahead and put the master just in. I didn't put the bolts in. I didn't go in the car or anything yet. The clutch line is right there. Debating if I want to tuck it underneath. Have it go right there. But... I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Mm, you know, I'm gonna save that for last. Let me mount this up first. So, it's the K-Tune. Clutch match cylinder. This part goes out. So, let me take the cap off. Alright, so you take the boot off and you feed it. Ah, 
perfect just like this all right clutch line is routed from there all the way to here on top uh, as far as that goes it's probably gonna be a little pain in the ass to get to the bleeder valve but it's not that big of a deal so now we gotta go ahead and mount the master cylinder up so now i just gotta attach the master cylinder on and then put the pin through and then the cotter pin and then start connecting everything back and gravity bleed oh and i gotta put the reservoir back and start gravity bleed bleeding it and then we're all set okay so everything went in fine everything's good right now i am gravity bleeding the clutch Everything's connected. Now we wait. <laughs> uh, I'm using DOT4 synthetic just because it's more resistant to, to heat and stuff. I don't plan on tracking this, but you know, it's always good to upgrade your, your fluids when you can. All right, so I currently have pressure right now, um, but I want to continue bleeding it. And that was all from like gravity bleeding it. Honestly, I felt like, <sighs> how can I put it? Um, Before I even open the valve, I made sure I filled up the system, obviously. And then from there, I closed up the master cylinder. I did what I had to do. And then I cracked the bleeder valve open. And then once I got it to about halfway, that's when I, um, that's why I kept refilling it, refilling it, refilling it until I seen a small puddle. <laughs> Me and my father ended up bleeding the clutch and, um, it's good. It feels good. It feels stiff. There's no leaks. That's a good thing. Um, as of right now, I'm about to put everything back together and go on the test drive. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It fit, the car feels good, but I feel a vibration in between shifts, like as I drive the car. Um, I didn't have that before, so I'm gonna try to adjust, I'm gonna try to adjust the clutch master cylinder rod see if that helps um but overall i mean it's definitely a lot smoother um when i downshift it feels it feels crispier you know what i mean like it's kind of hard to explain like boys so after the last clip that you guys seen i went ahead and i adjusted the clutch and the push rod and um i basically kept it i kept tweaking it until like the vibration like was going away and um it's definitely gone now so that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and just gonna button everything back up and then park it. I already took it for a test hit. <laughs> it's a couple test hits and uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with my result. What is good everybody? And um that's gonna conclude today's video. So pretty much um the K Tune Clutch Master Cylinder Kit does work. It's literally a night and day difference. Um I wish I was able to get a better um, like point of view when I drove and did the test drive, but GoPro was dead. 
So it was kind of hard for me to shift and hold the steering wheel all with like, whatever. It is what it is. But um, definitely a night and day dis difference. I hope this video helped you guys if you were doing the same thing or having the same issues. Um, definitely next on my list that I want for the SI are the hybrid racing shifter cables and hybrid racing D in springs. Other than that, you know, car feels great. And I definitely want to get a backup clutch. Excuse me. Um, cause who knows what the last owner did and how he was driving it. So that would definitely help get a nice backup clutch. Um, but other than that, man, as far as lowering and wheels, I'm going to save that for later on. You know, whenever I get bored of the look or whenever I get bored of the car, I'll go ahead and I change it up. But as far as shifting, that was like my only issue with the car. It's the only issue it has ever given me, given me. But um, besides that, man, the car is great. I hope this video, you know, helped a lot of you guys. Thank you so much for everybody who has came along board and showed your boy Matt love. Subscribe to the channel. Man, I really appreciate every single one of you guys, man. I say this every video because as every video is continuing, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, yeah, granted, I'm still a small channel. Honestly, that's when the love is real. You know what I mean? When people are supporting you now and they're telling you to go, like, this is real love. You know what I mean? So from the bottom of my heart, man, thank you so much to everybody who believes in me and subscribes to the channel and likes the content. I appreciate all you guys, man. I'm going to see you in the next one. Please stay safe. Stay home. <laughs> Only leave if you have to or if you're in Central. Deuces, man.